outside of South Africa, um, if you take out the race, exactly what you were saying, that's how the world works, you know. Um, and I, I appreciate you saying that I am trying to fight it and perhaps maybe the distinction in my head is fight it differently. I was mm. trying while at previous firms to change what is the absolute structure of that firm or those firms, you know, the, how they'd operated, what had made them successful, who their decision makers were, who their influencers were, to use a social media term, I suppose, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> within a law firm. And that is a long process. And by nature, I'm a very impatient person. Mm. And I think 20 years in, I had decided, okay, I can't do this anymore. You know, I really can't. It is exhausting to produce as a lawyer, to manage a team, to be a partner to whom a lot of black lawyers came to with their problems, with their issues, with their concerns. And, Exhausting. you know, you're now a repository. It's awesome, but it's also very, again, I use the word exhausting, because mm. you now are the repository of all this angst and anguish, these concerns, these, I want to resign, I'm not being treated fairly. And sometimes the answer is, well, you need to do better in order to be treated fairly, uh, which was, you know, a very blunt response. I didn't have qualms giving. But other times it was, well, what can you do? Because what you're fighting is a... Um, institutional issue. It's it's an infrastructure issue. You're not going to be able to change it. And it can change be, them. in many ways, a person issue. Yes. The person that you're working for does have conscious bias, uh, to and put it politely. And you're not going to be able to change And you're not them. going to change that person. You're just going to have to stop working with them or, or, or tell them it's wrong and then leave. You know. Yeah, or, uh, and sometimes it, you don't want that because it's a good lawyer or it's a mm. lawyer that you feel should be part of the, 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 the system. They could be doing a lot. And so you have these conversations and, you know, I'm one of those people that likes action. Um, you know, you want to see change. You want to, and don't get me wrong, I have every sympathy for the CEOs and the management teams of big five firms in South Africa that have to very carefully traverse the line, or if that's the right expression, you know, sort of walk this line of keeping their fee earners, profitable partners happy and having to manage black lawyers coming up into the firm to inculcate black lawyers into the culture or into the management team, et cetera. So I, I have great sympathy for it. And I think after 20 years or pretty much 20 years, um, it was, I'd come to the realization that that's wonderful. They've got that road to go. They've chosen that. And mm. they've chosen as black lawyers, as black managers, as black CEOs or COOs to try and ensure that what was historically, and I don't think anyone can say otherwise, that the big five firms were historically very white firms. You know, yeah. they were law firms in the, and I always use this example, they were law firms when mining companies were briefing them at the Rand Club in the days when the Rand Club didn't allow blacks, Jews, and women. You know, that's that's the, the, inst the historical sort of background. And that's okay for those lawyers and those, you know, partners who, who have chosen that path. And I came to the realization that I didn't have to. I'd spent, it was close to 20 years, it wasn't 20 years. Um, again, I'm being a typical lawyer and trying to calculate rapidly the years <laughs> in my head. Uh, and being years. a typical lawyer, uh, maths is not my strong point. Um, and I didn't need to do that. It was actually diminishing for me as a person and exhausting for me as a professional.